Hey everybody, this is Paul. Um, this is an introductory example to using linked lists and I'll be uh, using C++ language to demonstrate uh, how to build a linked list. So basically the basic concept of a linked list is we have a bunch of nodes and they're connected to each other by using these pointers and you can place values inside each of these nodes and we can kind of just create a list of values or a list of data members and so, for example, we could fill this one with the number 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And we could just kind of create a big list here. And so that's the basic concept of a linked list. So the first thing we want to cover is how do we make one of these nodes? Well, in C++, we can simply type in struct, and then we'll just name our struct node, and then we'll put our opening curly brace. And then inside the struct, just to make it simple, I'm just going to have an int, and we're going to name that data. And then I'm going to have another data member in here, and it's actually going to be a node pointer. And we're just going to call that next. And then we're going to put our end curly brace, and then our semicolon to finish the struct. So what I just made here is I created one of these nodes and if you want to think about it like this you've got basically have this node struct here so we'll just put node here and we'll split it in half the top half will be this int data part so we can hold our data right here we can hold an integer value and we can store it in this part of our node and then the node star next is it creates a node pointer named next so basically the other part of our node contains a pointer and it is able to point to another node. So that's what our struct looks like. So now let's just go ahead and just write some code and uh, see how this works. So basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a few more node pointers. So I'm just going to do node star n, and then we'll create another one, node star t for temporary, and we're going to do node star h for head, or the beginning of the list. So basically what we are doing when we, when we type in these things into our program is we're basically just creating these little node pointers. We'll just call that one n, and they're, they just have the ability to point to another node. We'll just call this one t, and this one we'll call h. So by typing these three lines of code in right here, we're basically just creating these little pointers, and they can point to another node. So we'll just go ahead and erase this now. And I think we've got this down now, so we'll just kind of continue. So now we've created our three different pointers and so after we've created our pointers what we want to do is we're just going to say that n is equal to a new node and so what this does is it doesn't make n a new node but rather what it does is it has n point to a newly created node so now we basically have our data part right here, and we have our next part right here, which is just another pointer, just like n is. So then if we wanted to fill up our node with some data, we could just write n, and then a little arrow here, and then we're accessing the data member of this node, and we could just set its value equal to 1. And so then that places a 1 in the data part of our node. So the next thing we probably want to do is we're going to want to assign a value for the head and for the temporary pointer. So we're just going to say that t is our temporary. We're just going to set that equal to n. And then we're also going to set our head equal to n for now. And so by typing in these two things, basically what we're doing is we're telling our, our head and temporary pointers to point to the same node that n is pointing to. So they're not actually going to point to n, they're actually going to point to the same thing that n is pointing to. So that's t and that's h. 
So H, our head, is basically going to stay in this position the whole time. And the temporary pointer is just kind of going to follow N as it kind of goes down and builds the linked list. So head is important to leave at the beginning so that we can later on come to the starting point of our list and access all the data. So this just kind of stays in place now. So then the next thing we probably want to do is start building our list. So to do that, we could type in n equals new node again. So by typing in n equals new node, basically what we're doing is we're changing what our n pointer is pointing to, and it's pointing to a newly created node. So now n is over here pointing to a new node. So now at this point, the list isn't linked yet. We simply just have n pointing to a new node, and that node has a next pointer, and it has some data that it can fill. You can fill in some data here. And so what we can do is we can say n data equals 2. And by placing this line of code into our program, it puts a 2 in that box right there. So we still haven't linked this together yet. So what we can do is we can use our temporary pointer. We leave that one step behind. And we can use our temporary pointer to extend this next arrow to the next node. And so the way we would do that is we would simply write t next is equal to n. So basically it's saying, OK, access the next part of the node that t is pointing to. So look at so this part right here says, OK, look at the, the node that t is pointing to, and then access the next data member inside that node, and then make it point to whatever n is pointing to. So it basically just extends this arrow and says, OK, now I'm pointing to this node over here. And once we've done that, we can simply advance t. So now we can say that t is equal to t next. We could have said t is equal to n. That should work too. So basically, now t is going to look for t next. Well, t next is what this guy is pointing to. And so basically, it just moves our t over here now. And now we have t and n pointing to the same node. So I'm just going to erase this right here. And so now we're at the point to where we're just going to put, let's just put another third link here to make the point sink in. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say that, once again, we're going to say n is equal to a new node. And by doing that, we're basically creating a new node. and we can access it by using the n pointer. So now n is over here pointing to some new node. And we've got a next part of that node. And it's just kind of pointing somewhere into the program. And uh, so basically what we want to do is we want to fill it with some data and then connect this node to the new node. So what we're going to do once again is we're going to type in n data, n arrow data, and this time we could set it equal to 3. And that would put the value 3 in the data section that n is pointing to. So then the next thing we'd want to do is we'd want to connect this node to the new node. And so we could do that by just saying t next t arrow next is equal to n. So by typing this line of code in, we would basically be telling where the next part of this node, the node that t is pointing to, where the next part needs to point to. So we're just going to make it point to n, or not to n, but to the node that n is pointing to, just by typing in this line of code here. And so then we could just kind of continue this process once again. If we wanted to, we could just do n equals new node one more time. So by typing in n equals new node, what it would do is it would just make our n pointer 
point to, to some new node over here now. And we could do, we would want to advance t now. We could do that by just saying t equals t next. So it's saying basically make t point to whatever t's next element is currently pointing to. So that moves t to this node. Then we could say n data equals 4. That would place 4 in here. And we could just say, in this case, if we wanted to, we could just say t next equals n. So t next equals n would basically make the next part of this node that t is pointing to point to the node that n is pointing to. And if we wanted to finish our list here, what we could do is we could just say n next is equal to null. And that way we know that it terminates. And so that just kind of sends this guy off to nothing. So he doesn't, this guy's next doesn't point to anything. So basically we just created a list and uh, we're keeping track of it by this head pointer here, so we can always go back and set our values equal to the to h, because h is keeping track of the beginning of our list. And now we have a list that's connected by these nodes that we can access through the head, and we can we have the numbers one, two, three, four contained in them, and then we end it with the last nodes next um, pointing to a null. So it's not really pointing anything to anything here. It's not pointing to another node. It just ends right there. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys understand uh, linked lists and how to implement them in C++. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe.